ask for for anger and I guess all negative emotions are, are I believe anyway that they're rooted in fear. Um, and I, I'm just curious if you had any. They're not rooted in fear, but we get why you think that. Negative emotion is simply the biological feeling result of the vibrational frequencies that you are, meaning your inner being in you, how well they are resonating and calibrated or how far apart they are. So when you feel boredom, you're not really tuned in with your inner being, but there's not much separation going on. Can you put the emotional scale up on the screen or you can look at your cards that you were given. So see how, when you feel pessimism, feel how that feels, feel how it's a sort of separation and feel how frustration feels a little worse than that. And how overwhelmment feels a little worse than that. These are degrees of practice, separation, disappointment gets worse. Doubt gets worse. Worry gets worse. Blame gets worse. Discouragement is worse. Anger gets worse. So all the way at the bottom is fear. That's really disconnected from who you are. You know what anger is? A big improvement over fear. So when you get angry, that's you trying to find some empowerment. That's what's going on. And so your emotions matter so much because they explain to you all the things that you want to understand when you say, I want to go inward. That's what your emotions are explaining to you. So what if you had that powerful desire, but life sort of distracted you from it and you're sort of dabbling in it, but not with any real intensity. And then what if you attracted something by the power of your desire to really make you ask a strong question? And what might that question be as a result of what you've lived? You explain to us sort of where you're at, but can you feel a question within you? What's the question? What's the asking? What's the step one that that rear ending gave you? What's the step one? Step one. Um, What's why? the asking? What did that make you want to know? Um, Guidance? Where the hell were you? Well, why? Why? <laughs> why? why? Why this happened? Because why? We're, All right. I mean, we're so the here is. Of our own we're reality. telling you why. Because you weren't even close to being who you intended to be as you came into this body. So you attracted something that made you either get hold of yourself in the way you intended to or just wither into apathy. It brought a crescendo into focus. And can't you feel that? You can feel that as we put words to it, can't you? Oh, yes. We don't want to insult you. But when someone wants to know why, we want to say, what difference does it make? Because that's what we were talking about earlier. When something feels off or goes really wrong, like this experience that you had, you want to stand where you are and explain it. Explain how you got there. When the bigger question is, what is it that you now want? Because step one is ask. Step two is source answers. Step three is you let it in. And most humans stop asking. They don't ask about much. They just accept and observe and regurgitate. Most people offer most of their vibration which is their point of attraction in response to what they're observing and they feel powerless to do anything about it. Oh, here's the best part of this. Oh, here's the best part of this. Could you instantaneously recover from some physical thing that happened? Maybe not. Could you immediately get a million dollars from 50,000 in your bank? Maybe not. Could you change someone's mind about something because you're sure about it? Maybe not. But do you have the ability to go from fear to anger? Sure do. Yes. Do you have the ability to go from anger to worry? Do you have the ability to go from worry to frustration? Yes. So since you have the ability to focus yourself up the emotional scale, See these words right here? They're very hard to read. It says tipping point. When you get to contentment, it tips and then it's easy to get all the way to who you really are. And you know what you want? 
You want to be the joyful being that you were born to be. You want to be the empowered being that you want to be. You want to be the free being that you want to be. You want to be the loving being that you want to be. In other words, that's why that happened because nothing else was moving you up the emotional scale because you were like almost every other human, just taking what came and giving a report on it. Here's how my life is. Here's how it is. I was a longshoreman and I did this and I did that and this is how much money I have in my bank account and this is how many people I have in my family tree and most people we love you so much you are so limp about life <laughs> most of you are living some form of apathy because you don't know that you're calling all the shots and the only way we know that you could come to know that you're calling the shots is for something to happen that makes you decide to call the shots thoughts like I must be being punished oh that'll rip your guts out because that's so far away from anything that's true from what your inner being knows or oh well now my life is wasted because I'm diminished in this way that feels terrible that's a really strong disconnect because that's not true in other words, all you got to do is get hold of this energy that is bigger and more pointed at you than it's ever been before and let a little more of it in and a little bit of more of it in. And that is the opposite of apathy. That's living. That's focusing. That's feeling. That's flowing the energy. Those like you and those like Esther, you can't not do it. It'll kill you. You can't not do it. You can't tune into it and know it and then deny it. Can't do it helpful yes thank you you followed that last one wasn't it helpful to you can't you feel how sometimes when you just get out of focus that something helps you to focus because you know what you've always got the pot boiling and sometimes it's a pot of something that you want and sometimes it's a pot of something that you don't want yeah and if it's a pot of something that you don't want it will get bigger it will get bigger if you like this video don't forget to subscribe we'll see you in the next